Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Yoast SEO Premium plugin for the internal link building. If you have the Yoast SEO Premium plugin installed on your WordPress website, then you can use the internal link suggestion feature of this plugin for the internal link building. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the Link Whisper plugin for the internal link building. This is one of the best plugins for the internal link building. It is going to create internal links automatically on the WordPress post or the pages. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. This is the best plugin you will see for the internal link building. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the Yoast SEO premium plugin for the internal link suggestion. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website, I'm using the Yoast SEO premium plugin. In this video, I'll show you how to use the internal link suggestion feature on the Elementor website as well as the website which is using the default WordPress Gutenberg editor. So on this website, I have the default Gutenberg editor and I have the Yoast SEO premium plugin installed. On the left hand side, you will see Yoast SEO. Click on it and go to tools. This is how it will look. First, you will need to optimize the SEO data. So here you can click on start SEO data optimization. After that, you will be able to use the internal link suggestion feature. Now the plugin is going to optimize the SEO data of your website. It's going to take a minute or two. All right, so the SEO data optimization process is completed. Now let's go to one of the blog posts. Uh, let's go to Let's open this one, click on edit. So we are on the post. Now let's scroll down at the bottom. At the bottom, you will see the settings for the Yoast SEO premium plugin. These are the basic settings. And here you will see the option internal linking suggestions. Click on it. Now it takes a few seconds. And now you will see the suggestion that is available for this blog post. Now here it is telling you that these are the pages or the posts that you can add on this blog post so that there will be some internal linking between this blog post and the other post. It is going to suggest you the internal links. It is not going to do it automatically. Whereas in case of link whisper, it will create the links automatically. It is going to add the link on the blog post automatically. So you don't need to go to the blog post and enter the link manually. Now here, if I have to use this suggestion, I'll need to copy this or I need to go to the blog post and somewhere I need to add this. Let's say this is the link suggestion. So I need to go here. I need to enter the link suggestion here. So I, I'll have to do it manually, not automatically. So, or you can simply copy it from here. Let me copy it, control C and I can put it somewhere here. Let me delete this one, enter and I can put it somewhere like this. So it's going to create an internal link between the blog post. Now here you will see it will give you one, two, three, four, five internal links for each blog post. It's going to calculate the number of blog posts and it is going to suggest you some internal links between these blog posts. So this is basically only the internal linking suggestion feature. Now here I have another block on which I'm using Elementor. So let's see how we can use the internal linking suggestion on the Elementor website. Let's go to post and open one of the blog posts here. This time you are going to use edit with Elementor. All right, so it is open. Now go to settings. And here you will see the option Yoast SEO, click on it. And here you will see the option internal linking suggestions and it will give you some suggestions based on the article. So here you will see again five internal link suggestions are given. So you can put these links at the bottom or somewhere inside the blog post. On the Elementor website, if I go to edit the regular way that we used here, At the bottom, you will see the Yoast SEO Premium and here you will not see that option. Internal link suggestion. 
where you can go here and you will see the internal link suggestion inside the Elementor page builder. So if you really want to use the internal linking feature, then you can definitely go for the link whisper plugin because the Yoast SEO premium will give you only the link suggestions. It's not going to create internal linking automatically. Whereas in the link whisper plugin, it is going to create internal links automatically. So I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch this video. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.